Welcome back to the channel. This is Motion Designer from themotiondesigners.com and in today's lesson, I'll be showing you how to creatively animate your text just like this. Let's go ahead and create a text. Right, speed. Change the font style. and align it to the center, maybe that's too big. All right, that's nice. And let's go ahead and animate the position of the speed. Hit P on the keyboard. Go to five frames, set a keyframe for the position, go back to the first frame and shift it somewhere here. Select all the keyframes, F9 for easy ease. All you have is this. So let's enable the motion blur for the layers and for the composition and you have this motion blur text. All right, let's keep that for a side now and grab this pen tool and disable the fill. Make sure you click on the fill text here to disable if you click the colors the, the color panel will open like this so you don't want that click fill and x that out and go to the stroke to the color and set it to white five pixel let that be there we can change it later on click here and hold on shift and click it somewhere here and all you have is a stroke and i'm going to animate this by adding a trim path it's very simple collapse this trim path I'm going to animate this start and end so set a keyframe to zero and five seconds 100 and select this start and offset a little bit select all the keyframes f9 for easy ease and what you have is this Maybe that's too fast or maybe offset it even more. All right, that's looking great for me now. And let's turn on the motion blur for this layer as well. And you have this dead. So you rename this shape layer one to one and control D to duplicate and move it down here and offset the position like this position and maybe the offset the stroke amount and go to the contents and shape stroke and add a dash so that you have some random lines like this so all the keyframes and offset a little bit here so that it starts from here and you can see the little dot here so that's the reason why I offset this so if you start the keyframe from the beginning of the keyframe you'll have little dot here so offset one frame that way you avoid that all right so duplicate a few more copies of this uh, stroke select these layers control D to duplicate and move this above and three let's see move it here and four maybe here and decrease this and increase the stroke of this and of course the timing of this maybe stroke like this move it up you know the whole idea is to make some random stroke you know there's no right or wrong way here you just need a random lines coming through this and revealing the text all right so maybe I want to move this up a little bit because I just want to cover the text area 
which layer is this? Yes, and this stroke here. Where is it? Yes, number five. I think that's too big. Make it smaller. And one more thing to consider here is, as you can see the animation, endpoints are different for each lines because I offset the position from left to right. So if you want the lines to stop at the exact same position, you can go inside this uh, stroke, shape and stroke and you'll have to you know offset the path of this shrink it down like this you know and do that so i'm not gonna do that i just want i just like these random you know endpoints of each stroke so i'm gonna stick with this and let's see let's duplicate some more copies three all right, let's move it up. Some random, random lines like this. Two, and this show to six, and this one to maybe one. And let's see what we have. Let's move it. Let's offset it this way. Offset. I can duplicate even more, Control D, and offset the timings. You know, it's just random lines like so. See that? All right, that's looking great. If you want, you you can add some more lines, and let's offset the position of this uh, speed text. So it comes this. And at the end, something like that comes with that lines like this. And hit U and Shift and T on the keyboard to bring up the opacity. And set a keyframe for the opacity. 100 and first keyframe, set it to 0. Set all the keyframes, select all the keyframes, F9 for easy ease and like so. All right, that's really nice. So once I've done this, let me create a new adjustment layer and I'll call it color. And what I'm gonna do is go to the effects and presets and type in fill drop that this color and you can change the color to whatever color you like and bam you have that and i'm going to select all of this and pre-compose this Control shift and c and i don't know let's write title design one hit OK and you have this inside the pre-composition and oops one thing I forgot is let's add a new adjustment layer and rename this shine and add a glow effect in this stylize and glow that way you have some glow effects going on there. Without glow, with glow, and there you have it. it makes it a little bit more pop out and more interesting like that. 
end. Once you're done with that, design one, comp one, I think I'm going to extend this comp, say two, four, six, six, it's 10 seconds long. And rename this main comp. All right. And you have the title design one here. Let's go and create a background. Solid and solid dark blue like this. Put it down. BG for background. And I'm going to create a new solid, which is black. And select this ellipse tool, double click on it, go to the mask, subtract, hit F to feather this out. And yes, like this. And you have this. Right after that, you can duplicate the title design one, control D and drop it somewhere here and go inside title design two, change the color fix controls and I don't know maybe to a red to the main comp and you can change the text as well maybe speed and I don't know design you can add any text you like that is how easy it is to create a simple text animation just like this make sure you check out these two videos as well guys Thanks a lot for watching, this is Motion Designer and I will see you in my next video.